So here we have an IP camera which I installed um, just a little over a week ago for a client and uh, just yesterday uh, the thing stopped working which was pretty disappointing uh, so I went and, uh, and took a look and essentially the, the lights were on but there was nobody home so I obviously checked the, uh, the power and having connected the power to the unit um, it uh, wasn't connecting to the to the Wi-Fi as it was configured before uh, so the next thing to do is to try and talk to it over the uh, the Ethernet connection so connected up the trusty laptop and we can see there that there is some activity so uh, we should be in with a with a chance. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't respond to the the default address. Um, it's you need to set a static IP address for the uh, for the interface to configure the the unit. And uh, when I look on the machine here, I can see that although there is a, a connection, and just uh, look in here. We can see the, the static IP address of the machine and the, the camera should be 188. But, um, if we look at the, the, the data there, um, let me just reset that. Okay, so what we can see is that although we're sending packets to it, we're not receiving anything anything back. So uh, it's it's not talking, and indeed, if you obviously try and connect to it, you get nothing at all. So what I've got here is another little utility which I like to use. Uh, we can just try and ping. Even if the browser interface isn't working, we should still be able to ping the interface. Um, but that's not not uh, not responding either. So the next port of call is to use the reset button. Now I've tried pressing the reset button for uh, for some time, and uh, it hasn't uh, hasn't fixed the problem at all. So I've tried with the reset button, and um, it's not resetting it to its factory settings. I also tried holding the reset button whilst applying the power that sometimes will wake things up but um, no response whatsoever so what do we do now uh, we could just write it off to experience but uh, being me I'd like to have a a peek inside and uh, there only seems to be th three screws there to to undo so let's take a look inside so here we can see inside the the unit and uh, apart from just curiosity we look inside to see if there's any broken wires or anything that's come come adrift and I, I, I can't see anything uh, particularly out of the out of the ordinary however um, a bit like uh, Cosimodo I'm, I've got a hunch now one of the other things that was reported by the client before it uh, it finally stopped working was that the some of the recordings on the SD card inside here um, appeared to be corrupted or they just they just wouldn't play the other curiosity was that in the software you would normally find a setting as to what to do when the memory card becomes full now uh, you can either choose normally to overwrite the existing files or, or to stop the recording now in this instance you had no option at all so I was curious to find out what happened when the SD card got full uh, and I'm rather hoping that uh, the answer is not that the thing just dies um, but uh, out of interest we'll just um, we can't remove the SD card completely because of the of the housing but if we just um, unlatch it there uh, we'll see if that makes any any difference to us just going to apply the power now and connect up the Ethernet interface so 
So as before, we can see that there's uh, a light flashing on the on the Ethernet port. Well, that didn't mean very much before. So now I'm just going to restart the ping to the interface, and behold, um, it's replying. So I wonder if we can connect to the uh, administration port. And indeed we can. Uh, it's, uh, it's blank because we're looking at the at the, de the desk there. So that's fascinating. We can just have a quick look in the settings and uh, appears to be set as it was before. So it hasn't, uh, in all the playing around, it hasn't reset itself to factory settings. These are the settings that I put in there. Um, as I say, there's no no way of knowing uh, what was happening there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the SD card out of the system, and I'm going to replace it with a with a new one uh, and, and reformat it. Uh, I don't really trust reformatting the the card that's in there. There's no doubt of some uh, nondescript type, and uh, I've got a nice Kingston one that I'm going to replace it with. So we'll get that swapped over and see what happens. So having put the new formatted card into the uh, into the camera, and uh, we can see now that it's it's working okay. It's recording here off of the camera interface, and there we go. So uh, another fix, and I'll leave an update in the in, in the comments as to uh, as to what happens when the SD card gets full, because the the jury's still out on that one.